Internally, the idea that uh, the Taliban can be incorporated uh, in this step-by-step -step approach to provide security until the latter pieces of a peace plan can come together. This is going to be curious to watch because the locals, yes, they have shown an aptitude to cooperate and have made their own deals with the Taliban, but wouldn't that happen in any situation where the local population, for its own safety, has to do the most expedient thing? Um, externally, what can the U.S. administration do at this promising juncture for peace to assure the different players that in this age of great power rivalry, uh, the U.S.'s stance towards Afghanistan is aligned with Russia and other competitors in the region, that uh, these efforts are consolidated towards paving the road to peace. Your question is a hard question. The United States can't give assurance. What we can do is structure a process. But in the end of the day, a lot of these questions are going to have to be resolved by the Afghan people as they define a way forward. The, one of the things we can and should do is to try to neutralize the regional players and convert them from spoilers to sustainers of an internal peace process. That's something we can, can do, and Zal is trying uh, to do that. I think, actually, there's more time. The people I talk to say that Afghanistan, even if it wanted to have an election, presidential election first round in July of this year, they're just not ready to do it. They don't have the machinery in place. There's a current deadlock about who's going to be the IEC and the EEC, the two election commissions, commissions that are supposed to oversee this election. There are a lot of uh, things that were wrong with the parliamentary election that need to be corrected. So, I don't see an election anytime soon, which is now then a constitutional crisis, because Ghani's term runs out, I think, in May or June. Um, so what's then going to be the government of Afghanistan during this critical time of peace negotiations with the Taliban until there's a new election? So there's a lot that's going to have to be worked out here, and Zal's job is to try to help the Afghans find a way forward. Uh, I think there's been a debate, and I leave you at this point. Uh, there's a very interesting debate of do you prioritize elections or do you prioritize the peace process? The theory is if you get a peace agreement, then an election in which the Taliban would participate would be a much more legitimate election and give the new government a much um, firmer platform from which to implement a peace agreement. On the other hand, if you ignore the electoral process, pursue a peace agreement, and a peace agreement is not possible, you may have destabilized the whole Afghan political system and descent into chaos. So there are exquisitely difficult 